I really appreciate you being here. It takes a lot of courage and strength. It does. To go through and share this message that I'm trying to get out to millions of women that are hiding in the shadows and right. hiding behind these wigs. We don't have to do this. I know. You Let's ready? do it. Wow, so that is completely stuck to your edges. Is it? Completely stuck. I'm gonna leave this hanging here for a minute, but first, I want to deal with your special friend here. I'm gonna put her in a special place. Okay. <laughs> but she's very expensive, I can tell, and she's very long. So normally what I would do is run over to this trash can right here and be like, Throw it away. get out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Look, wig, expensive or not, when you tearing up my girl's hair around the edges, you gotta go. Looking at you like this, really honestly. I feel it, ugly. It makes you feel ugly? Mm -hmm. But what would bring that on? A lot of it has to do with um, times when I would wear my natural hair, my mom and my sister would make fun of me. What do you mean make fun of you? Like if I would go out with my um, my curly hair, they would, why are, you, why are you wearing your hair like that? Like, it's you need to do something with your hair. My mom would say, you're going out with your hair like that? And I didn't feel pretty, you know, being called names and stuff like that, so. I can tell by the look on Deanna's face, the pain, and how uncomfortable she is right now. But well, we're gonna move past that today, girl. Okay. You are a beautiful, drop-dead, gorgeous <laughs> African-American woman. You cannot go around the pain. You have to go through it. And to be honest with you, I think it's your self-doubt that's holding you back, not your hair. 